In this video, we shall explore central Oslo, the barcode area and Oslo Opera House for some POV street photography. And this video as well is a supplement to the Oslo Street Photography Guide video that is coming later. So please do subscribe to the channel, like this video, it's completely free and ring the bell to stay up to date and get a notification when that is live on the channel. Thank you. And I just found a nice opportunity for some high contrast images. Let's have a look. Here comes a subject. That would be awesome if she just walked in the shadows there. And she's not going to. What a shame. But here comes another one. The smoke and everything. Fantastic, a banger on the first go, that's awesome. Let's do a few more. I got a couple of nice shots, I think it looked really good. Uh, using the shadows and highlights, my favorite genre in street photography these days. I absolutely love it and uh, the conditions today are quite good going to show you around this area so you can get an idea for yourself if uh, you think this is a good spot to do street photography and I'm using as always my Fujifilm X-T5 with the 23mm f1.4 that's my go-to street photography setup but here is also the uh, biggest photo store in uh, Oslo or maybe even in Norway so if you are here and you need a new lens or a new camera or whatever, they will help you out. But this is cool today. And this is the Acrobat Bridge. We are going there a little bit later. I think I'm going to spend around an hour here just walking around and see what we can find. Oh yeah. Alright. Nice. So here you can see you have some stairs to work with, you have the cool architecture, there's a lot of things that you can use to get some interesting perspectives in your street photography. Let's see here. And this is a well-known spot, everybody comes here, you can find the bikes, as I'm sure you have seen many times before if you have seen POV videos from Oslo. They are fixing up the place. Lots of scaffolding here now on the front side as well. I think ah, this is not good today because uh, this on the front side here, that's, that's my favorite spot in the barcode area. I will show you, look at this. In front here, you can see, you can use these, uh, like the architecture and the buildings as frames. That works quite nice, and this here is uh, one, uh, one spot that I really like. When the sun is shining through here, I think that will happen in about an hour or so, you'll have some really cool shadows uh, because of the structure and the, uh, the texture, I guess you can say, of the, of the building right there. And uh, here, you have loads of reflective surfaces, which is nice. And you have some shadows. Let's take a picture. Uh, shelfie, shadow selfie. Very funny. And then you have, okay, let's do one more here. Uh, you can use yourself as a, you can get some cool reflective shots. Let's see if we can find something else. Yeah, over here, over here, there, you have uh, some yeah, mirrors, uh, mirror artsy kind of structure. Yeah, it's uh, art, I don't know. But you can get some cool shots with the architecture and maybe pe even people from here. 
And here we are. Hello. What I think will be best, so I can show you some actual photos from here, is if I uh, is if I put the Insta360 back on the camera like I did in the last video and just do it proper POV style. But here is also an area I would like to explore more uh, when you have the, the nice highlights there. And a little bit later, people will walk past here and you have, yeah, you have some nice lighting going on on the walls there. But this is another place I wanted to show you. Uh, if you can see here, see how the light is on this very bright building. And that side there, that's what we are going to use as a frame. Taken some photos here before with people coming out, but I'm not really happy with those. So I'm just waiting for the right subject whenever I'm here, but that hasn't happened yet. I'll take a few photos here. Then I will go up on that bridge, go over to the other side across the, or over the, the train lines and go back again to the barcode area on the other bridge because you have some cool bridges coming over here. And then I shall speak to you there. I think it's much more tricky from this side to get cool photos, but this should at least give you an idea. The structure of the bridge is really cool. And when the sun comes around the building, so we get some sun on, on the bridge itself, that's a cool idea. Let's see. And over there you can see the bridge we are crossing over to get back on the other side. But this is the barcode seen from the bridge. Really, really, really nice. I love this area. And the shadows there look quite cool now. Worth a shot anyway. Yeah, I don't know if you can see, but on the other side there's a lot more sun. So maybe that has more potential for for better high contrast images and some silhouettes. We're going to find out. Oh yeah. But look at this. Here we have a potential. Yeah. A nice little frame right there. Not too bad. But not so good either. Just over the bridge here I found a potential spot with a pocket of light. Some interesting uh, angles of the shadows there. I'm going to try a few shots, see if I can get something interesting. But this is it. The other side of the barcode area and the other bridge. That's where we are going now. Hopefully for some high contrast images. That's what I will be looking for, silhouettes, contrast images, and then go back to the barcode area, take a few more snapshots, POV style. Oh, there's something to work with right there. A person, a silhouette, nice. Constantly switched on when we do our street photography. going to hang around here for a little while. I have a great opportunity to get some uh, really cool top-down shadowy shots from up here. So yeah, I'm just going to wait for a subject to come by and uh, take a few test shots.
way across the bridge. I'll try and find a few other opportunities for some nice street photos. Probably something to do with uh, high contrast images, but uh, we shall see. And then I'm going to take a break and then we are going to the Oslo Opera House. Another great place for street photography here in Oslo. And let's see here now where I started. Oh, the light looks, looks really nice. Maybe I can get that image that I've always wanted. Look at this, very interesting shadows and highlights going on here. We have the light, everything looks really nice. A nice beam of light going into that, uh, that uh, let's call it a natural frame. Okay, I'm going to wait here, see if I can get something and you will know shortly. If you can see there, those are the shadows that I spoke about, about earlier. I didn't get as much as I had hoped for today here at the Barcode area, but I'm sure you can see that uh, there's definitely potential here with all the shadows and highlights and the cool architecture, the bridges, uh, walk across one bridge and come back to the next one and vice versa. You have some uh, something to work with there. I've only spent about an hour here because I have to go to the next location which is the Opera House so I can show you what uh, opportunities you might have there. Here are the favorite images just from this session and I will see you back at the office. And that's all we got from the barcode area. I've been there so many times and I have quite a few favorites from this location from earlier sessions. I absolutely love it there. And if this is your first time in Oslo, if you're planning to go to Oslo, great place to start out. You have so much to work with, like uh, reflections, you have things that you can use as natural frames. Generally, just a very interesting location. The Oslo Opera House is just a five minute walk from the barcode area. Let's go there. What a place. This is uh, something I'm looking forward to show you. So the first opportunity I can see immediately is over there. You have some uh, shadows going like from the, from the building itself, from the opera house itself. But when people come out of the shadows, maybe that might work. Let me know in the comments. And of course, if you aren't subscribed to the channel, that would be awesome if you did also like this video. It's also quite nice here in the night time. You'll have some cool reflections of the buildings there. And uh, yeah, you can get some cool shots from outside taking pictures inside. Yeah, that made sense probably. And now I'm going to show you a cool location I use as a natural frame. This place, the Opera House is perfect for natural frames you can work with shadows just look at this and uh, minimalism check this out yeah lots of people up here okay so there's a person going there and that person will probably end up between like so so if I do go down a little bit lower so I have a lower angle Okay, watch this. Wait for it. Wait for it. Here we go. Yeah. Nice minimalistic photos. And it's even better up here after rain because then you'll have a lot of puddles around here so you can get the reflective shots as well. So you have uh, like a minimalistic reflective uh, uh, shot with a nice natural frame there. Check this out. Okay, wow. And you can also get some cool top-down shots. But now in the winter time it's quite slippery, so I almost fell. It's very icy up here today. So you have the you have a lot of shadows in the buildings there. Obviously at night you can get some cool like um, long exposure shots of traffic from that corner there. Uh, 
what else can I say about the Oslo Opera House? Yeah, in a few hours the uh, sun will shine on that wall there, so you'll have a lot of reflections to work with. Well, this is a really interesting location if you're ever in Oslo doing street photography, or just have a few hours to spare. I, I highly recommend coming here, because you have so many elements and you can spend like a couple of hours here. That's, that's even, uh, uh, yeah, I would say that's a, that's a very long time to spend up here, but uh, if you are waiting for a subject or you see something that is really cool or have potential, spend some time here, wait until you get it, and you will, yeah, and you can thank me later. I've taken all these shots before. That's why I don't come here so often anymore, because, yeah, I think I've, I have it all now. But let's do a few more shots. And we are done. Let me know what you think of these locations down in the comments. Another great photo walk in the bag. And the next video is the full Oslo street photography guide. It's meant for people that want to visit Oslo but have limited time to do their street photography. So I really want to help people out so they can hit the ground running when they are coming to, let's say, just have a few hours of doing street photography. I'll share the locations, I'll share some favorite spots, some coffee spots, all that good stuff. So if you are interested in seeing that video again subscribe to the channel like this video and hit that bell button that would be fantastic and i hope to see you in the next video thanks for watching bye bye and as always here are my favorite images from today's session